Okay, happy Sabbath everyone. Uh, here we are uh, in Manila. We've had, we have been driving for about four and a half hours now from where we live in Louisiana Laguna way up in the mountains and now we are fighting the traffic. The most horrendous, tr terrible traffic you've ever seen in Manila. And uh, we're heading to the northern part of Manila and uh, our speaking appointment is gonna be about hour and a half to two hour drive in traffic tomorrow morning to the church where I'm supposed to speak all day Sabbath so uh, I was just telling my wife you know being a missionary in the United States is easy because you don't have stress you don't have traffic you just cruise on over to the church and speak and go home relax but here it's gonna take us five to six hours just to get to where we're gonna spend the night and then drive another hour and a half to two hours in traffic tomorrow morning just to reach the church to share the message of health reform. So anyways, it's a blessing. Uh, I want you to see the traffic. Daryl, can you show them the traffic, honey? I'll turn off the light here, yeah. Uh, this is EDSA. This is the main highway that goes through Manila and it is 9.15 on Friday night. It's late at night, if you will. And there's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people out here driving on this road right now. So, um, 9.15 at night, and it's still bumper to bumper traffic. In fact, we're moving fast right now. I'm going 20 kilometers an hour right now. A minute ago, we were crawling at, I mean, just crawling, literally bumper to bumper. Uh, now we're moving a little bit, but now here we go. Oops, well, that's the end of that. We were on a roll there for about five seconds, but now we're stuck in traffic again. So anyways, this is how it is. And uh, pray for us, pray for our ministry, pray for the Holy Spirit to continually guide us, to open up more opportunities to share the gospel because Jesus is coming soon. And this world is going down the drain. Things are happening very fast. And what we do as missionaries, as Seventh-day Adventists, must be done quickly because the night cometh when no man can work. Okay, so it, it did take us about uh, six hours, oh, I'm sorry, seven hours to reach the church. Um, this is the church in Quezon City that we went to. Uh, while we were there, I spoke during the Divine Worship Hour. Uh, the church was pretty packed. A lot of people attended, um, the meeting went really well, and then in the afternoon we did a raw food demo and a green smoothie demo. Um, so here, um, Daryl and I are conducting the green smoothie demo. Uh, we uh, blended up some coconut juice with uh, coconut meat, some Chinese malungai, which is a, a very, uh, very potent uh, form of malungai that grows here in the Philippines. And, uh, and then we served everybody the green smoothie. Um, they were really amazed at the, uh, the good tasting drink that we made, uh, including the greens. And we talked to, uh, talked to them about the benefits of green smoothies and the chlorophyll and how it heals the body. And it's very, very effective. There you see the, the malungai I'm holding there. And we put big handfuls of that in there and served everybody the uh, green smoothie in the afternoon. Uh, they really liked it. And everybody in the church got to, uh, got to taste that. We put uh, mango, banana, coconut and coconut meat. Um, these are some friends of ours from Sacramento. They're actually attending the church there. And then we made a, a raw salad, a big huge salad. And uh, Daryl demonstrated how to make the salad and also how to make a salad dressing. So we blended coconut like what you see here in the picture. And then we added the bell pepper, some calamansi, which is the lemon here, some salt, some oil, and some little bit of uh, coconut vinegar and uh, then we served the uh, salad dressing with the salad and uh, we also had some finger foods which you see here uh, that people could dip the food into uh, the uh, dressing and then we served up the salad and everybody got to taste raw salad uh, most people here do not eat raw food um, they're really amazed that we're actually eating these vegetables raw uh, because most people cook them and uh, they really enjoyed the food so it was a, a great opportunity to open their hearts and minds to see a different way of eating and preparing food. 
And um, so uh, from there, uh, we went back home where we had been doing a nine-night series of meetings on health, family, and the gospel in Louisiana Laguna, where we live. And uh, here we are uh, lecturing there. Um, and uh, towards the end of the meetings, I'd say probably the last five nights, there was a lot more people there. Um, so I did the whole series on health. And then we also did a live food demo as well. And we uh, showed them how to make the same thing, the salad, the salad dressing, green smoothies. Uh, we also served uh, Malungai tea uh, during the meetings as well. And here are some of the people that are tasting the food, and they really enjoyed it. Um, they said they were going to try making it at home, uh, which is the whole idea, to teach people how to make something very simple uh, that will really change their life um, and their health. So um, the chief of police is lecturing there. He's actually giving the final remarks. Um, then we also handed out certificates of uh, appreciation to participants. And here I am with Pastor Vilias, our district pastor, the barangay captains, the chief of police, and uh, the, the and then somebody uh, actually gave us a Dorian as a gift, which was nice. And this barangay captain was a very spiritual man. He shared his testimony about how he learned a lot from our meetings. And then uh, we also had some uh, a cleanse program at the Central Zone Conference. Here I am with district pastors uh, who went through a five-day cleanse. It was a three-day juice fast, two days of raw food. And then Daryl is uh, eating Dorian in the room there. Somebody gave us some Dorian from Davao City. And uh, here we are on the fourth day of their cleanse. And they're eating raw foods and a little bit of oatmeal. Um, okay, so uh, we're here at CLC conference and we're juicing right now. Uh, because everybody's been drinking juice, I juiced carrot apple. And right now we're going to be juicing uh, some sugar beets and some cucumber. So we're just going to add that. We're using more raw juice. It's a two step juicer. Uh, it separates the. Uh, it actually just makes it pulp, and then I take it in the bag, and then we use the hydraulic press, and it will extract the juice right out of there. This gives twice as much juice as other juicers, although it is a very expensive juicer. But uh, the pastors and leaders here are doing a five-day cleanse program. They've been juice fasting for three days. Uh, and some of them started a little bit late, uh, like this pastor and his wife. And uh, they're going to be continuing their fast uh, tomorrow, which is Sabbath. So we're making their juice now. And they're going to take their juice with them. Uh, so anyways, so we got this juice going here. And uh, we're going to mix it with carrot, apple, sugar beets, and cucumber. Okay.